Hi, my name is Erica. Um, I graduated from OSU with an undergraduate in Japanese language and literature in 2010. Um, just a little bit about my background. Uh, I knew no Japanese. I had not studied uh, Japanese formally before attending OSU. Uh, during my degree then, I actually took from first year level to fifth year level. And then I also did a study abroad at Scuba University uh, my junior year. <laughs> Um, it was <laughs> um, no, it was a really good experience, and it was one of those. Um, as you mentioned, as Keith had mentioned, it's one of those switching from not having used your Japanese in an actual environment where you needed to use it, and then just being immersed in it. It's a huge switch from just the way that you think about it, the way they think about using your language. And so it was a huge experience that I think is really necessary. Um, but then I came back, finished my degree. After that, I actually went and did, uh, I attended the Inner University Center Japanese program in Yokohama. I don't know, I know that they uh, uh, advertise it a lot here, so some of you may have heard of it. But it's pretty much a 10 month program in Yokohama where you're studying, you're continuing studying your uh, language abilities. So I did that, and then after that, I worked in Japan for a couple of years as a recruiter. Um, I was an external recruiter, so I would have clients that were companies, and I'd also have people looking for jobs, and I was trying to match them up. So I did that for a couple of years, and then I came back, and I now work at a Japanese manufacturing firm. Um, we're half automotive, half non-automotive, but it is a Japanese firm. Of about 95% of it is uh, non-Japanese staff, though. Um, I actually started there as a translator and then I now work as a project coordinator um, using my Japanese skills mainly because I'm always coordinating between the management which is mainly Japanese with a little bit of American stuff so that's just a little bit about where I started where I knew no Japanese up to where I'm using it pretty much on a daily basis. Um, as I mentioned though, I do use Japanese in everything that I've done. So everything that I learned when I was in school, it was necessary in everything that I did. Um, when I was a recruiter, I actually recruited, I was first working with a non-Japanese firm, but we were in Japan looking for Japanese candidates who spoke a little bit of English for international companies. They were mainly, they were 99% Japanese as well, even though they were things like Prada, they were uh, Nike, they were all these big international companies. And so using Japanese, but also knowing a little bit of English to help test the English that they needed and to find the, the people that they were looking for was really necessary. Um, and then of course in my current position, even though 5% of our staff only is Japanese, I still use it on a daily basis mainly because it's a Japanese company. A lot of the documents that we get are still in Japanese. Um, a lot of the management is still in Japanese, so I've really used it uh, pretty much in everything that I've done. The business mannerisms and the business language and the business culture, the learning through both the program here at OSU and then what I did at, and learned at IUC as well, it really helped me more on the client side when I was working with the clients, working with the candidates. Um, I would have to set up meetings with them, so it'd be me, and then it'd be two Japanese staff and knowing and making them feel comfortable by knowing the mannerisms and knowing the correct language was really helpful. Um, but then on the other side, knowing the cultural and the social and the political aspects of Japan helped me more with my colleagues because then I was able to speak with them and about things that they knew over a couple of years after work. I would speak with them about what's happening in uh, the current politics or what was on TV last night and that was really helpful in building that relationship which I know in my previous companies as well as my current company it's a huge gap in between the Japanese and non-Japanese staff and it's something that knowing the cultural aspects as well, helps to bridge that gap in between, especially as a non-Japanese, being able to build that relationship with the Japanese staff is, um, has been really helpful as well. Sorry. <laughs> um, had I not done Japanese though, I 
I know that what I'd be doing is completely different from what I am actually doing now. Um, it may have been actually Chinese, because I'd studied Chinese a little bit when I was here at OSU. Um, also, when I was studying abroad, I took a Chinese class in Japan. So I was the only non-Japanese staff in the class. Um, they all kicked my butt in writing, as you can imagine. Um, but it was really interesting uh, learning Chinese from a Japanese perspective. Um, but then I probably would have been doing Chinese. I probably wouldn't have the same opportunities to work here in the U.S. and still use those languages, I think, that I'd have in Japan. Um, as Keith had mentioned, there are a lot of Japanese companies here in Ohio alone, nonetheless um, outside of Ohio. And so being able to even stay in the U.S. and use the Japanese skills is something that I probably wouldn't have done with another language. Had it not been a language, though, it probably would have been something with computers, probably computer science, and I probably wouldn't have traveled as much as I have. And so really learning language, that's actually one of the reasons that I wanted to originally um, was because of the travel aspect. Um, I've been to Japan numerous times, uh, went to China because it's so close to Japan, so <laughs> traveling a little bit as well. Um, and just because I'm so used to now that I've been back and forth, I'm used to traveling, I actually have started to venture out into other parts of Europe, and that's not something that I would have felt comfortable with had I not been pushed to do it because I was learning Japanese and really needed to get into Japan and use my Japanese there as well. So I would not have had near the number of uh, international experiences that I've had had I not learned the language, and especially Japanese.